Hello and welcome back everybody to the channel in today's full review Škoda Enyaq Coupe version before we go any further special thanks to Porsche Interauto and their Škoda dealership here in Zagreb for making this video possible I will put all their info in the description below so you can check them out Welcome back everybody to a new full review. Like I said in the very beginning, in today's full review we have Škoda Enyaq Coupe, but as you can see from a license plate, this is a sporty version. Uh, now, I did already had uh, the full review of a Škoda Enyaq, but that was the normal standard version. This one is a sporty version and is also a Coupe version, so it's a little bit uh, different uh, in the back. Uh, I will put that link in the description below, so if you want to check that out. Now let's go and start this uh, full review of exterior, interior and practicality with the front-end design and details. Let's go and start with the headlights design on this particular model. LED, low beam, high beam, turn signals and the daytime running lights. On this uh, model, uh, these are actually matrix technology, which is great for nighttime driving. Below headlights, washers uh, for the headlights, especially handy in the winter months. And being a sporty model, you have all these lower elements in black. Front parking sensors and extremely cool looking uh, this grille design with the plastic uh, cover. Uh, below Škoda logo you have a front camera and more of that uh, front parking sensors. Now you can maybe see this hood design how aggressive and cool looking is. Just a quick look on a passenger side profile you can see Škoda Crystal Lightning lettering here because here is a little bit narrow on a passenger side. I will talk a little bit more of this on a driver's side but the only main difference is that on a passenger side here you have uh, your port for the charging cables and on the roof now we can see shark antenna uh, on the video you probably think that this roof is actually blacked out but uh, on this particular model there is a panoramic sunroof more of that a little bit later when we go inside from this point of view you can actually see the main difference between this coupe model and the standard version that I've reviewed already. You can see now this sloping roof line. This is more a sporty version for a let's say younger uh, buyers. Uh, the good thing here in the back we have rear wiper, really big rear window which is always handy and tinted uh, rear windows. Quick look at the rear end these rear lights are similar like in the front all led technology below uh, lights on a passenger side we have iv lettering big skoda lettering here in the center there is no no more skoda logo it's only lettering now and on a driver's side you have enyaq lettering below uh, skoda lettering you have a rear uh, parking camera and in the lowest section uh, more of that rear parking sensors with that sporty black elements. Let's talk a little bit now more about this side profile. Now you can see this very interesting and cool uh, design elements uh, in the back. Word or two about these wheels and tires. Gorgeous wheel design. This particular sits on Bristol 21 inch tires. We have keyless go on this uh, particular model and now you can see even more of that interesting and striking uh, design elements on this model blacked out door mirrors being a sporty version and on a side profile vrs logo word or two about the charging options and battery pack battery is actually 77 kilowatt hour battery pack with a 11 kilowatt ac charging option or 135 on a dc charger this exterior really nice exterior is called brilliant silver metallic let me know in the comment section what you think about this exterior design and now let's go and check the practicality starting as always with the boot space moving in the back if you want to open the boot space you have rubber lever and it opens automatically this is what you get 570 liters official number is in total let's talk a little bit about the useful features 
uh, here in the boot you have two shopping bag hooks on a passenger side 12 volt socket easily reclining the rear seats extra storage here on a far right side moving here on a driver side also two shopping bag hooks retractable which is very handy and even more of that extra storage uh, on a driver's side these are plastic covers for the wheel design very cool and very interesting and underneath this textile cover you have a little bit more of that extra storage for your cables or something like that overall very useful boot and as you can see one premium feature we have electronically op opening and closing now let's go and check the rear seats practicality now let's check the rear seats practicality this is the door design and just a quick sneak peek on the interior as you saw on the exterior you have the uh, privacy glass or a rear tinted glass but you can do it even manually this is a very handy solution especially in the in the summer months uh, and if you have a kids in the back in this uh, middle section you have some type of uh, carbon effect with a real metal door handle and uh, speaker interesting more speakers you have this in the center area and in the low section with a very cool and interesting design this is something really really cool and in this uh, middle area or section where you will put your elbow you have a soft leather material door pockets reasonably sized easily you can put let's say two half a liter bottles now let's go and check on a driver's side this is the view and these are the rear seats before i go and sit on this rear bench i will put this driver seat on my ideal driving position so we will see how much knee room and leg room i do have now i put this driver seat on my ideal driving position i'm about 184 centimeters tall but before i go and sit inside just a word or two about the interior look uh, these floor mats for example these look and feel really really premium this is something really nice something that will be very easy to maintain in the future life these are the seats sport seats uh, leather material with this cool white stitching something similar that we see here on a driver's seat also here in the back you have this armrest which you can easily open you have two cup holders and lights here in the back now you can also see the panoramic huge actually panoramic sunroof now let's go and check the practicality this is my foot room and this is my knee room the big question is how much space or room i do have for my head i do have maybe a couple of centimeters to spare so there will be no problem for even uh taller people than me to sit here in the back if you want to carry two adults no problem if you want to let's say carry three children also no problem in the back you also have uh, isofix anchor points with two led lights on a passenger side and also on a driver's side the best feature here is absolutely this stunning panoramic sunroof which is just looking absolutely great in this uh, middle section two air vents you can put your own uh, climate control features heat exits with some more extra storage uh, here in the back uh, behind the driver's seat uh, useful uh, storage and also behind the passenger seat the one thing that i didn't mention before i go and sit on a passenger front seat you have uh, led ambient lighting in the back but also in the front more of that in the second when we go and check the passenger front seat opening the passenger front doors just a quick look at a door design now you can see that ambient lighting that i've been talking about and the one thing that i didn't mention in the back because i didn't have the lettering you have upgraded canton uh, premium surround system and the one thing that i didn't mention is here in the front you have this textile cover uh, at this uh, door pockets which will prevent if you have let's say keys or some cars it will prevent them from making noise this is also some really premium feature on this particular Škoda memory settings on a front seat 
fully electronically operated. Just a quick look at this absolutely gorgeous interior, I would say. And now let's go and check the practicality. Getting in and out in this uh, Škoda Enyaq Coupe is very easy because you have a pretty large uh, door opening and it's a SUV, so you sit a little bit higher. But let's talk a little bit about materials because the materials are absolutely stunning. Even here in the far forward, you have soft, some type of rubbery material. And if you move a little bit down, you have some really soft, leather material like we saw on the seated design with that cool white stitching big air vents and in the lower section some type of that uh, carbon effect with a chrome strip and led ambient lighting all the way to the driver's side this center area looks absolutely stunning and really cool in design more of that when i go and check the driver's seat just a quick look on a openings yeah great in size and also you have this uh, textile material here in the glove box really really premium touch now let's go and check the driver's seat opening the driver doors you have digital instrument clusters and the center infotainment system this is the view that you get in vrs logo in the headrest cool absolutely stunning uh, design of the seats great materials and great size support similar or exactly the same as on the passenger front you have memory functions and fully electronically operated seats and now I'll just a quick look again on this gorgeous and huge panoramic sunroof on a driver's seat everything is absolutely stunning here on a far left you have audio controls for the headlights with some air vent cool and interesting wheel design three spoke very sporty and luxurious with some chrome elements and vrs badge in the low section these minus and plus pedals are for the regenerator braking because this is of course an ev and in front of us we have small digital instruments and 13 inch center infotainment system this uh, center infotainment system is on a ideal uh, position when you're driving this is my view out and as you can see there is a great view on this center infotainment system on this particular model you do have a navigation you have some uh, clock options i don't have key with me sorry about that but i just want you to see how it looks and feels everything is uh, super sharp and the gr graphics are excellent actually uh, you also have uh, heating uh, front seats and all your climate controls are here in this uh, lower section. Below the center infotainment system there are two air vents with more of that ambient lighting and some features in the middle section. More of that storage here on this uh, center area, two cup holders, extra storage and here electronic parking brake with this uh, gear lever extra storage in the armrest which is actually huge in size and more of that ambient lighting and space in the uh, lower area. let me know in the comment section what you think about this particular interior i think it's absolutely stunning materials are great the design is absolutely stunning and two main features of this interior are these excellent seats and this huge panoramic summer which i'm huge fan now let's go and check the turns these are the turn singlets here in the back as you can see dynamic led technology let's go and check in the front turn singlets on a door mirrors and led technology here at the front this is the end of my full exterior interior review and practicality test of this 2023 Škoda Enyaq Coupe version. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this particular model. Do you like it? What is your favorite feature on this model? And special thanks again to Porsche Interauto and their Škoda dealership here in Zagreb for making this video possible. I will put all their info in the description below so you can check them out. Thank you so much for watching and wish you all a very nice day.